Hey guys, welcome back to the Grind Skeen episode, which is all about my favorite things of the year that have made life less stressful, right? So I can be more productive, right? And so if you're looking for that, continue watching. Um, so, uh, in this episode, we're focusing on the segment of tech, right? My favorite things that are all about tech. And my intention with this series is to connect some dots for you around technology that can help those of you that are value creators in the form of consultants or subject matter experts. Um, and I also want you to feel confident with getting the tools you need to broadcast and share your message without the stress of trying to figure out the tech tools and having to read through hundreds of reviews and on which products are the right ones only for you to just end up, you know, getting one product, right? So you spend, you know, 45 minutes or an hour and a half trying to just pick one thing. So, you know, if you don't believe me, just imagine, you know, for some of you going, you go on Amazon and you're having to sift through, let's just say 30 something products, right? And um, each of those products has two or three reviews. By the time you're done, you've looked at anywhere from 60 to 90 reviews for you to just pick one product, right? I mean, it's crazy. This stuff that we do, it's a time suck for me. So I hope that, you know, I've gone through this and it saves you time and uh, you don't have to lose your mind trying to find things. So anyway, um, I just think it's just, you know, so funny that in this tech age of having to be less stressed, the process of finding um, products that are supposed to, you know, have us be stress-free um, is a stressful one. So let's go easy on you and anyone who this is relevant to by sharing these seven favorite things that will make a difference for you. Okay. Um, so these items, um, as I go through them, are going to make your search of these purchases. Uh, if you, you know, find that these items are items that you need, um, make your purchases a lot easier. Um, and in some cases just might give you even reassurance if you already have them, right? That you're on the right track with what you have, or maybe for some of you, it may give you an opportunity to upgrade, right? To realize, oh, wow, I need to upgrade that. So, um, all that said in the description section, I'll leave, uh, the links for each of these products or something similar to it so that you can start your journey towards equipping, um, yourself with the right technology to do your thing out there, right? Or in the internet. <laughs> and um, continue to serve the people that you really care about. Okay, fair? All right, cool. So let's go. First item is uh, my favorite thing is the HP Touch Smart, right? Um, now, to be fair, I don't even think it's called this anymore, right? Because the PC that I'm referring to, uh, this product, I have to confess, is one of my favorite things, and I've owned it for a long time, right? It's been around, I should say. Um, for a while okay and um you're watching me through it right now so there's underneath this camera there's a huge um screen underneath so it's almost serves as like a teleprompter type of situation whenever i've got to do these uh, podcasts or videos okay um so that said let's jump right into some other features of it so like i said it's an old model uh, but it's worked for so many years like i just kind of feel like it's like you know, like that comfort, right? Blanket that uh, we all kind of gravitate to. But since we've been in this era of, you know, um, lockdowns or stay at home measures from time to time, it has really been a savior for me um, because, you know, whenever I need to sit down and plow through video work and do some editing, um, I have a huge screen that I can work on, right? In contrast to like a small laptop, okay? So um, if you want to be smart, uh, about your content creation process and you can sort of afford the luxury of having a PC and a laptop, um, especially the editing, you know, doing some, some of that editing, get yourself a PC that is a, um, piece, a touchscreen PC, right? Like this one, um, or close to it. All right. That's just my suggestion, right? These are my favorite things may not be yours, but they're mine. All right. So the link I'll share about this product is going to be for something similar because this version, whoops, this version of what I have is a little bit older. And the other thing I also do is talk to my IT person to find out um, what they would recommend, right? Um, as far as the equivalent of a 
product like this. All right, so um, get yourself one, you know, when it's all said and done, if, if it's necessary, and uh, you'll, we'll take it from there. The price range for them is from, uh, I saw from 500 to like 4,000, all right? Depending on what how much uh, you know, firepower you wanna work with. Um, and that's that. So the other thing that I, I did wanna say too is, see this here? This is a, a stylus that you can use on the screen, right? In addition to your hands, you could also use this stylus. And that leads me to the second uh, of my favorite things this year, which is, um, that I found very, very helpful, is this very stylus that I talked about. Um, this one retails, it's under like tw 25 bucks, okay? Um, and there are some features that I do wanna share about it. So this stylus right here has a few things going for it. Um, it comes in a box that's really, really durable, like this one, right? You may not be able to see the name of the brand on the, yeah, it's too bright. Um, but it is a, I think it's called the Mixo. It's a high sensitivity stylus, okay? Um, M-I-X-O-O, -O, right? So it's a high sensitivity stylus. And just to kind of give you an idea of what this is about, um, it has a fine end, right? And it's hard to see it here, but you'll have to, when you click on the link and check it out, it has two ends. So it's got one end, which is like this fine end, it's kind of got this plastic screen that allows you to scribble and write and draw um, uh, on the screen, especially when you're doing those screen shares and you want to kind of like, you know, use the, the screen as your whiteboard. This comes in really, 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 really handy for that. Now, so it's got this fine, fine end to it and you can screw it and close it okay and then this other end is sort of like a, a thicker end of it that kind of operates almost like a finger right like so you can use this on your phone you can use it on your ipad um you know whatever you need to do with that so it comes with both both ends on one tool and the cap you can take off this end and put it on the other end depending on what you need and it comes you know you can put it in uh, like a pen okay I really, really like that about it. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, case, it's just a solid product, okay? Inside of the case, I can't find the base um, insert of this case, but one of the things I will say about it is that these are replaceable. So it comes with like two or three of these. So like if it kind of starts to, you know, get frayed or whatever, you can unscrew it and then grab another one right out of the case and replace it, right? And screw it back on. So if I didn't ruin this already, I'll screw this one back on. Okay. All right. So that's what I really, really like about this. And it just, like I said, it comes in so handy when it comes to doing some of those, you know, schematics that you want to do on the screen. I'm a very graphic visual kind of a person. So I like to be able to do that on the screen uh, with one of these. So um, Mixu, I think is the name of the brand. I might not even be pronouncing it, pronouncing it right, <clears throat> but I like it a lot. Okay. Let's talk about video accessories. All right. So, um, because it's late and I'm shooting this video, um, one of the things I want to share with you that I use, um, it, it, well, because there's usually not enough lighting in the evening, um, I use a video light, right? Now, of course, everyone knows, yeah, duh, use a video light. Yeah, okay, well, it's my favorite things, okay? So I get to share my favorite things um, that, again, for those of you who don't have these things or may already have these things, you're either reassured or you upgrade or you just, you know, whatever it is, right? You're going to be in one of those two or three places. But, um, so I've got one of those, uh, ring lights, right? On the side here that you can, you can't see right now. And the thing that I love about this, let me see if I can actually, um, show it to you here. Hang on. Um, it's not necessarily the best out there. All right. Let me just kind of say that. Uh, up front, um, but it is something that allows the videos that I get to create to be, I'd say, uh, appetizing and, and <laughs> a little easier to watch. Okay, um, so let me show you with you some of the features as I read this through here. Um, okay, so it plugs in as a U it has a USB port that plugs in right into the laptop, so you don't need an outlet for it. That's great. Um, it's got one button, of course, uh, for turning this thing on off okay now with each um so once it comes on it's got nine dimmer settings okay so just to kind of give you an idea of what i mean that's let me see if i can start at the bottom okay so that's this is like setting number one okay is two 
three, four, five, six. All right. All right. See how bright it gets. All right. Cool. So this is one of the features. There's three modes. Here they are. Okay. And each of those three modes has those nine dimmer settings, right? So three modes, nine dimmer settings, like 27 combinations of lighting. Not bad, not bad, right? Um, what else can I tell, tell you about this? Um, it's got this lock in place swivel neck to it that you can kind of like lift up. <clears throat> and again, just to not ruin my own shot here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See? All right, tools of the trade. Um, it's got the swivel neck that you can kind of grab and pull up and um, be able to, I mean, there's just all kinds of ways. You can angle the angle the light. Um, uh, what else? You know, just, it's a solid piece, okay? Um, and like I said, it's not necessarily the best in the world, but it gets the job done. Keep it steady, keep it uh, stable. Don't move it around a lot. Don't drop it, right? I, I've done that in the kind of, <laughs> the case for the lighting halo part kind of came off. I had to tape it back, but um, but it's reliable, right? Like it's it just gets the job done. And again, this is all about you getting your message out. All right. Um, what else can I share with you about this? Um, yeah, I think that covers that. All right. So let's get right into my next um, tool here, <clears throat> which is the this is called the UB. UB, UB size tripod pro. Okay. So let's talk about this for, this is uh, item number four. All right. So, um, if you want to jump to the different items that you like, I'll leave in the description section where, um, you know, what I'm talking about is discussed. So this is item number four. Okay. And this is a, an adoptable, you know, phone holder. It stands up on almost any surface. One of the things I like about it is that the, it's got these rubberized base uh, legs that allows it to be non-slip, right? When it sits on the surface, the legs can be bent, right? See how I did that, um, which I really, really like. Um, so it can just kind of be on any surface and still have you have an even, even shot. Some of you that have watched my IGTV videos, this is what I've used to do that, right? To do those shots. Um, so. You know whether you're you know using the kitchen counter or the desktop desk top or you know you're doing a video while you're you know sort of sitting uh, in bed and you wanted to shoot a quick video like it's just ready to go right wherever wherever you find yourself so um, so now let's jump to number five right so I, I think I've gone over this enough I mean there's all kinds of you know it swivels up here um, you get it right so five let's talk about the pop shield Okay. Um, we're getting, getting into podcast equipment. Okay. So podcast equipment, um, pop shield is this, all right. And you know, I've already, uh, shown you in the previous video, the boxes and all of that, nothing too, too different there. So this pop shield comes in very, very handy. Uh, like I said, nothing too special about this or the brand, but, um, you know, the fact is I'm not trying to record a Grammy award winning album, right? Either. Okay. So I don't need the bells and whistles version of this, but it, it gets the job done. I'll leave the link for that. And I'm sure again, some of you have better ones, but in my minimalist approach with this stuff, um, I like to just keep what works and not worry about all the, all the fluff about it. All right. So let's jump right to six behind this pop shield. You will see the Q2U Samsung, not Samsung, Samsung, S A M S O N Q2U recording in podcasting pack, right? It's part of a podcasting pack. And, uh, man, I love it. Like it's, it's just great. Okay. Guess beyond getting the job done. It just, it works. Okay. Um, this is perhaps one of my favorite tech add-ons of the year. And because, uh, really for so long, I just let the sound quality of my content suffer using the internal mics of either the PC or the laptop. And, you know, the same thing happened um, whenever I tried, you know, um, whatever the situation was like, it just was never going to produce a quality sound product. Right. Um, so anyway, it was just horrible. But then this microphone came into my life and um, everything 
just shifted, right? As far as the quality of the sound, especially when I was just focused on audio podcasting. Um, and it also, of course, helps with video, right? Because now my voice is not, uh, you're not hearing like sort of the sound, the echo, right? Inside of the environment. Um, honestly, I'm not even enough of a nerd to be able to speak to all the bells and whistles and just neat, simple features about this product. Um, I can grab a box here. It's just gonna give you a little bit of a blurb. Um, dynamic microphone with card cardioid pickup pattern, perfect for capturing vocals while rejecting ambient sound. Uh, connect and create, simply connect the XLR output to a mixer. I mean, I could just go on, right? It's got headphone capacity, you can plug it at the end, you got the volume at the base of the microphone. Um, accessories, it comes with this, it comes with this tripod stand, right? Okay, if you just uh, are starting out. Um, and what else? It comes with a, a USB cable. Of course, you just plug this right into the laptop or desktop. And you don't have to worry about downloading any special software with it. That's always a, pl a plus. And it's got a carry pouch, right? So if you just needed to just carry it, here's where, where it's at. Okay, so um, I like it. I, I like it a lot. It just, it's, it's, it's just, it's an essential, right? So, um, that's what I want to say about that. I'll leave the description below as far as how to, you know, which one it is and how to get it on Amazon. Now, the last um, thing I just want to share with you is um, this, I feel like has really saved my life and kind of give me a, you know, gives anybody a little bit of a cool factor. And it is this boom mic stand, right? This is adjustable, the one that you see me talking on. Like I can move it in different directions just to keep it stable. I won't mess with it. Um, what I want to say about this is I really love the fact that I can move it wherever I need to, to position it in order for me to shoot the shot. Okay. And of course be able to be um, in position to have my voice come through clear into the microphone. Um, and it just allows me to be able to just, you know, preach this gospel, right. Of content creation and value creation. And, um, from time to time do some, you know, um, uh, Grammy award winning hits, you know, like all I do is win, win. Well, I don't know if that's a Grammy award winning hit, but my version of it could very well be a contender. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, the last item I want to share with you is this, um, see if I can grab it. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay. This is a digital voice recorder. Let's see if I can get it right. Yeah, digital voice recorder. Okay. Now, what am I doing with a digital voice recorder? So, um, it's what you normally wouldn't think about as a major um, tech thing, um, but it's a life and mind saver uh, for me, especially because um, I pre I carry it almost everywhere that I go, and the reason why you may ask is because I can talk faster than I can write when an idea hits me. Okay. So I don't have to scramble to find a pen or a piece of paper uh, to scribble on. Right. Um, if I can break this out out of my pocket, boom, and just capture a recording, right, right there on the spot. And in real time after it's done, um, I can capture the, the, the vocals, but on the way back, whether I'm flying back, riding back, driving back, um, home, I can just listen, right. To repeat and to reinforce what I had as my idea or what, it, you know, I actually do a lot of audio logging, right. With this device. So, um, that comes in very, very, very handy and it's very, very powerful for that purpose. If you have a recorder on your phone, you can do the same, but there's just something a little different about having a separate device altogether that you record in, right? So, um, this one is the Olympus recorder. Um, and what I want to share, and, I, and unfortunately I didn't kind of give you guys the names of some of these, um, I'll recap them I'll, at the end. Um, but this one is an Olympus recorder and, uh, it, you know, you know, again, this may, they may of course be more modern versions of this, but this one just gets the job done. What I also like about this is that if you need to transfer the audios into your, um, 
computer. See how there's this little piece that sticks out? It just, you slide back down, and you push it back up, okay? <laughs> that will stick in here. You get the idea. <laughs> okay. All right, so you can push it up and then insert it into your desktop or laptop and have the files be transferred. The other thing I also want to say, it's important. There's five folders that are on this, right? So that you can record in five categories. Now, for those of you who followed me over the years, you know that I have a, a particular operating system known as the 24 hour blueprint system. And that blueprint system comes with uh, five categories of life, right? So that's the five kingdoms actually, as I refer to them in the book is faith, family, uh, faith, fellowship, finances, feelings, and fitness, right? So spirituality, your social life, your financial life, your emotional life, and your physical well-being life, right? Those are the five category equivalents um, that I like to record about, right? So if something is related to on the social side or relationship side, I can record it in folder B, right? Or if I have something related to money, I can record it in folder C, right? So those folders, there's five folders, folder A, B through D, through A, B, C, D, E. Yes, all right? Uh, A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, I got it, all right? So for that purpose, I really appreciate that functionality to being able to categorize the audios that are being recorded, okay? All right, so um, what else can I say about that? Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of just, you know, cool things. It does have uh, two AAA batteries, so you need to do that. And to save money, you can always get rechargeables and, and just swap them out, all right? Um, what else can I say and share? All right, I think that covers it. All right, so um, going over the brands. So this here, there's really no uh, brand for it. It's just called Pop Shield. You just go online. Like I said, I'll give you the link. Um, uh, I guess the brand name might just be Pop Shield, right? That's just what it's called because the box just says Pop Shield. All right? Can you see that? No, you can't. Um, so Pop Shield is that. This mic boom is by InnoGear, I-N-N-O gear, right? Again, I'll just leave the links below for you guys. Um, Samsung, I already did, I did name drop on that one. I did mention Mixu, right? Which is the stylus that I use. Um, and then this one is UB size. So, I mean, nothing really significant. It's not as much about the brands, right? In this instance, I mean, some of them probably are, you know, superior brands than others, but the main thing is the functionality and the impact that they have on being able to produce content. So if you wanna go upgrade the brand, you can, but you minimally, you just need the, the tool, right? You need a Halo right light for the video shots. You need a microphone for capturing better audio. You need a pop shield to keep, you know, the little pops and, you know, the stuff that happens over the course of the recording um, uh, that minimize sound quality. The boom helps you with being in the right position or having the, uh, the mic be positioned so that it can capture sound and you be hands free or not have to rely on the stand and lean over, right, to, to do the recording, right? Um, so there's all kinds of cool things like that. So it's really, these favorite things are really all about the functionality of them as opposed to just the brands, okay? So um, I'm going to close out with a few words. Um, in the next episode, I will be sharing about software, right? The software tools that I used to produce all content, right? All my content, um, and what my favorite things are about them, right? And I think you deserve to know that. So I want you to stick around. Of course, um, you can subscribe so that when that's available, that'll be more than likely one of the next few videos that I create. And, uh, you know, you can get those, uh, the nuggets that come with that. So this is Boo Madu. I am signing off on this Grind Scheme podcast episode, which is all about my favorite things, tech that allow for value creation and content creation to be a little bit easier than it has been in the past. And I hope it's the, you know, the same experience for you. Um, last thing I want to say, if you have enjoyed this content, um, I want you to get more. Okay. Um, you want more of the good stuff. You already know what to do. So for me, show me some love, please <laughs> like the video. Um, you know, if you watch this far to the end, show yourself some love, 
by making sure you don't miss out when new content is published to the channel. So subscribe to the channel or the platform you found this video on so you don't miss out on anything or benefit from what I call the stress less and earn more revenue principles um, that you need as a value creator and leave a comment, right? If there's something that has helped you in this video, I'd love to hear about it. Last but not least, um, sharing is caring. I'm a big believer in that. And um, I want you to get this video in the hands of someone that you love and care about um, that you feel would find as much pleasure or more uh, perhaps from watching this just like you did, right? Um, so that's it. Thank you and thank you and thank you. And um, feel free to gift any of these items to someone in your life because I think they make very, very great holiday gifts as well. All right, guys, appreciate you and uh, have a great evening or day or morning whenever you capture this or catch this and I'll see you guys soon.